So this is a question I get all the time. Anthony, what is the best way to keep my cigars fresh? And the simple answer is, hey, you need a humidor. So today we're gonna to be talking about everything humidors. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and let's get started. So essentially, a humidor is a proper way to keep premium cigars. And the reason why you need a humidor is because that's the way the cigar manufacturer, when they produce the cigar, envisioned you would keep their product. Tobacco, from the time it's cultivated, outside of the drying barn, which is meant to dry out the tobacco, every stage of that process, that tobacco has been humidified. So having a humidor and properly maintaining your cigars is essential to the quality of the smoke that you get. I hear people say to me all the time, you know, I keep my cigars in a Tupperware container, it works just fine, or a humidor. But a humidor, not only is it cedar lined, which adds aroma and flavor to the cigar and character to the cigar, it breathes. You need something that breathes and adds aroma to a cigar. A Tupperware or a humidor, you're talking about something that seals tightly but adds nothing from an aroma or taste perspective, and you run the risk of growing mold because it does not breathe. The risk you run of not using any kind of humidification or a humidor is the fact that your cigars are gonna dry out, they're gonna crack, they're gonna taste like shit. They're not gonna smoke well, and honestly, if you're paying six to $10 per cigar, and you're not gonna take the time to properly humidify them in a humidor, you're not really indulged in the full enjoyment of enjoying a premium cigar. 99% of the cigars on the premium cigar market, off the shelf are ready to smoke. When you age them, it brings out character. It brings out, you know, roundness in cigars. One thing you have to remember is that when you purchase a humidor, there are steps and they're very easy. The first thing you need to do is season it. And that's pretty straightforward and simple. All you're gonna need is distilled water, which you can find at any supermarket. It's about 99 cents a gallon. You get a clean cloth or sponge, you wet the sponge or cloth, and you wipe down all the inside of the humidor. The lid, only on the inside, the dividers, and make sure it's only distilled water. So if you want a full tutorial on how to season a humidor, why don't you just check out the link in the description. So now that you've seasoned your humidor, the next thing is to properly humidify your cigars. So most of the humidors purchased on the market will have a humidification device right in there. It looks usually like a round puck or a square rectangular brick. That unit, the humidification unit, you need 50-50 solution for, which all tobacconists will sell. And basically, it's 50% distilled water and 50% propylene glycol, which really just makes the water adhere to the sponge device longer. Other options, there's humidification beads out there. You might have seen these jars with clear gel beads or bars. They work just fine. And also, there's Bovida packs where you could actually choose the humidity level that you would like. Drop them in the humidor, keeps the cigars fresh. And at the end of the day, all accomplish the same goal, to keep your cigars at the proper humidity inside a humidor that it seals properly. If you have all those things going on, your cigars, you could age them indefinitely. Okay, so let's talk about the different tiers and pricing of humidors. Remember, they all do the same thing if they seal properly. They all keep your cigars humidified, but obviously there is different pricing and different entry points. So we're gonna start with the Savoy series. Cost on this retail-wise, just north of $100, comes in different sizes, small, medium, large, but an outstanding, what I call entry-level or beginner humidor. You know, the one word of advice I would give you, when you're first shopping for a humidor, you have a tendency to be like, oh, I just need something small. I don't really need anything too big. Once people know you're a cigar enthusiast, you might get a gift of a box of cigars. If you already have a collection going in your small humidor, getting a box adds 25 more cigars to the equation. So for not a big jump in price, you can get a nice medium size as opposed to a small. Pricing wise, comes down to craftsmanship. Again, entry level, beautiful, exquisite humidor for the money, pressed wood, Spanish cedar on the inside, comes with a humidification device. This is where I think it, it makes great value. 
If you don't know if you're totally committed as a cigar enthusiast long term and you don't want to make a big financial commitment, the Savoy series makes for an outstanding value and entry level humidor. So moving on. The next tier, Savoy Executive Series. Beautiful finish. This is the Olive Ash Burl. The Executive comes in four different finishes. Comes in small, medium, large. This is the small here. Made of solid wood. Very substantial humidor. Comes with a humidification device. All Spanish cedar lined. You know, this is one of those humidors to look at it. It looks way more expensive than it actually is. You know, price point wise, a few hundred dollars, but it's something that you can hand down literally from generation to generation. In my opinion, I think it is where quality meets price, phenomenal humidor, great value. Which leads us to the final tier, which is going to be a higher end desktop humidor. So this is the LE Blue. So this LE Blue kind of reigns supreme when it comes to the high end desktop humidors. And we talk about price points. These roughly start around $1,000. And what you're paying for is craftsmanship, right? So these are all handmade in France. The company's been around for many, many years. I have one myself at home that I've had over 20 years. It runs like clockwork. I fill up the humidification device once a month, and this thing keeps my cigars absolutely perfect. It comes in a multitude of colors and designs. This is the Alba, all handmade marquetry. It takes about four months to produce one of these. And talk about a conversation piece, and talk about something you can hand down for generations. The LE Blue is exquisite quality. And then, you know, if you are a gigantic cigar enthusiast and you can never have too many cigars, what you can invest in is a stand-up humidor, or one you might plug in, like you see over here over my shoulder. Holds a ton of cigars, you can put boxes right in. You know, most of these desktops are meant for where, obviously, you take cigars out of the boxes that they come in, you blade them in the desktop. With a stand-up or plug-in humidor, boxes slip right in, you can display them if you like, even like as a retail shop to show off maybe in your bar room or your den. Great quality stuff out there, multitude of brands, but for the true cigar enthusiast that can never have enough, they are outstanding. Okay, so hopefully you learned a few things about choosing a humidor for yourself. If you have any further questions or comments, just drop us a line. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and we'll see you here next time.